tackle play. And when we ran the offside tackle play in Chicago, as you well know, uh, if you played the Bears, you have to, they, we're gonna, they're going to run the ball off tackle, period. They did it when Tony was there. They did it when I was there. And they're doing it now when uh, Harry, uh, Harry, he stands there. So they're going to run the play off tackle. When you play the Bears, you have to stop that play. Okay? This is the complementary play to running the play with. This is the complementary play to running that play. And we call it twin. And this came, again, everybody steals something from everybody. And uh, we kind of stole this when I was at the Bengals. And can you rewind that tape to it's set to the beginning? It, uh, Okay, where, where's the secret switch? I got it. Put that play right on the color bars in the beginning. Now, you guys that, like Rick, is Rick Trickett still here or did he go home? Okay. Rick, we're not going to run this play. Rewind it to it. We're not going to run this play at Syracuse, so I'm going to give you all the shit, right? So Rick's out there taking notes. He's, uh, it's not going to happen. So it works like this. And I'm going to give you, and you can run it from a whole mess of different formations. And we just ran it, believe it or not, you know, some of the pro guys will tell you, we just ran it to the left. We did not ever run the play, I don't believe, to the right. If we did, it was very, very sparse. We just, because we felt that we were going to get good at running it one way and you need to stop it. And, and uh, the players knew how to block it, everything that happened with it. And you could run it versus all the fronts, but we kind of thought it was better versus this defense right here when you had this over stack, the 57 stack, whatever you guys call this front. Now this play, 35 twin. And the twin, where the twin term came from, it means tackle on the win linebacker. Tackle's going to pull. We're going to pull a tackle. Now we had Aaron Gibson. Okay, now when you see the line that's performing out there, okay, the left guard, the left tackle's a free agent, the left guard's a free agent. Aaron Gibson, who was the number one draft pick, then got cut by Detroit, went down to Dallas. They cut him down to Dallas. He had his last shot with us. He came to Chicago. He's 422, three pounds when we got him. Okay, it was his last swing, his last strike. He got himself down to 372 pounds, and he stayed there for the whole season. Okay, and he had, he missed all but two plays the whole season. And the knock on him was, would he get injured all the time, wouldn't be able to finish the season. Well, we, he played every snap but two. And we pulled him at 372 pounds. Now, you can run this from the eye. You can run this from a strong set, from a wing set. You can run this from a bunch set. Okay, you can give the ball to the fullback, to the tailback. You can give the ball to a receiver. You can give the ball to the quarterback, okay, when you're running this play. Now, what we want to do is break the keys of the defense, the way the play was set up originally. So what we're going to do is the guys inside are going to run an inside zone scheme. That guy's going to block that three technique like he's running the inside zone. The backside guys are going to double team that shade to the Mike linebacker. Okay. The backside tackle, depending on how that ends playing, is going to take that defensive end right there. The fullback is going to run over the front side tackle, try to block that Sam linebacker right there. The back is going to drop, cross over, and plant. like you know, But he's going to get his shoulders square when he gets the handoff from the back as deep as he can. The key for the back was to keep his shoulders square. Usually when they run the inside zone play, those shoulders are a little bit out of an angle running on the inside leg of that tackle. Well, we wanted him to come make it start like the inside zone play, but when he got the ball, we wanted his shoulders square to the line of scrimmage. Now we're going to pull this tackle right here, okay? And we're going to square pull him. And you heard Don Horton, he did a great job last night, talk about square pulling, okay? Where they square. Now, here's Aaron Gibson, 372 pounds, right? The right tackle. He's going to square pull. He's going to move his outside leg back down the middle of his body, down the middle of the center of gravity of his body. 
He's going to get whipped with a second step. Okay, his shoulders are still going to be relatively square to the line of scrimmage. He is going to cross over on his third step, okay, and then he's going to run. And he's going to find the win linebacker, right, and he's going to block, get on his toes, step on that guy's toes, hit him on the front side number, and block the win linebacker. And then the back is going to press it, pick up the tackle, and then follow the tackle backside. That's how we would block that defense. Coaching point. If you think that the win linebacker is going to blitz in that backside B gap, then the backside tackle will make a hard call. You hear him say, hard, hard, hard. And they'll all pass it down the line of scrimmage. All right, and then the tackle would take that linebacker, and the pulling gut tackle would take the end man on the line of scrimmage. Okay, if you thought that tackle was going to run through and try to blow up the play in the backfield, then he'd make a hard call. He'd take the will, the win, in, uh, will, win, excuse me, win, and the pulling. I've been in so many friggin' places. They call that guy, so like W linebacker, the win linebacker, the will linebacker. That fucking guy right there, okay? We're going to block that guy right there. Tony knows what I'm talking about. There is something different, right? Everybody calls something different. I was saying to the guys last night up in the, in, in, in the, in the little uh, lounge upstairs, is that yeah, you know, we should just standardize everything. Make it the same terminology, the same language, the same formation. So when you go to another team, you don't have to rewrite the playbook. I mean, just get better players. You know what I mean? It all depends on the players. Fuck what we teach is bullshit. <laughs> so you got if this guy's really good and those guys really good, you're gonna probably be really good, right? If that guy can't block that guy, you're probably not gonna be very good. Period. Right? So he's gonna pull and he's gonna block the end guy in line of scrimmage. Now I tell you, block that front. And they're always looking. Now, say this guy were to walk up and get on the end of the line of scrimmage. Right? Well, he's not there just for, you know, for show. So this guy's going to pinch. Right? And that Will's going to come off the end of the line of scrimmage right there. Right? And again, that tackle would be yelling, hot, hot, hot. So he's telling the pulling tackle that you take the end guy on the line of scrimmage. Whoever that guy happens to be, you take the end guy on the line of scrimmage. Now, that's nice versus this defense here. You can also run it. Did everybody get that down? You could also run it versus the under defense. Now, versus the under defense, a little tougher deal backside, but it's still more of a, okay? You want to get this action by the backs. That's a key deal, to get that action by the backs, okay? Because the, where the tough block is, you're pulling this guard right here. I mean, this tackle, excuse me. You're pulling the tackle, and the front side guard has to come front side, and he has to use what we call a brace technique because he has to protect the guy over the tackle because the tight end's almost going to pull with the tackle and come down there. He's going to brace technique, and his fullback is going to end up slamming that Sam linebacker in the mouth right there. Right? He's going to stretch the shade. Okay? He's going to waltz technique, the three technique, He's going to set on the end, okay, and now the pulling tackle, which makes it, he has to find a way to get inside or outside of that block to get to the, the win linebacker. Now, there's been some games, and you see on tape, to make it simple for the guys, like when we played the, the Redskins, we knew we could take the three technique back to this guy, so we made a hard call. and then let the tackle block that guy. He's still going to get the draw here, and then the ball comes back. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a reaction play, too, because our favorite, the, the, the play that we were running all the time would be this play here, to give you a little bit of a history. We'd run this play a lot that we call duo, and I can't get into all the specific coaching points because... We're going to take a break here at 11, and then Andy Heck's going to come on at 11.30, I mean 11.15, excuse me. Okay, but we would run this duo play because this linebacker is always the son of a gun to block. Okay, so we would double team the front side guy to the front side linebacker and double team the nose guy to the back side linebacker, and these guys would base up on man cut off on the back side, and then we would block the Sam with the full. So it was like a power play without pulling the guard. You know what I mean? And it was really good for us. And this guy would 
drop cross over and plant, and he'd come down the inside leg of that tackle right there. But where the read was, we would read the linebacker. We never read the down guy because we were doubling both down guys. So the read for the back was taken off the down guys and put on the linebacker. So you were going to play us. You needed to stop that play. Well, the sister play to it, as everybody, and you'll see teams put exchange the Sam in the end, put the safety down. They put you know, five guys over here to try to stop that play. So as soon as that happened, we packaged it with twin, and we ran twin back to the other side. Right? And it's a real good misdirection play, and it breaks the keys of the defense, and especially if you're running some type of front side zone play with the fullback leading front side, it really helps in breaking the keys on the defense. So I'm going to put it up there and show you some snaps of this, right? and maybe you get some, a little something out of this play, and if you have any questions, you can get me on the side. But I'm just trying to show you a little something that may help you, a little misdirection play, but you can run it. Okay, you can run it this way. Okay, and he's coming back out of the eye. You can run it. You put this guy in the wing. Okay, you motion him back here. You start the action. You give it to the fullback coming back. You can run it like that. You can run it from the bunch set. Where you fake the flip with the back. Okay, and you pull this tackle, and you've been running the flip crack play all day. So these guys are doing this, okay, and this guy, he start, he's going to come back, and we're going to give the ball to this guy coming underneath on the bunch play right here. So there's a way to run it like that. That guy can be receiver if he's a good runner, or he could be the fullback, whatever. Okay, you can give it to the quarterback. This is the one I came up with this one. They all thought I was nuts at this one. Okay. We start him, here comes the quarterback, comes back here like he's flipping the ball, he's going to run this, you pull the tackle, and then the quarterback follows the tackle back. Okay, so there's a whole mess of things you can do with this play. Then you add your keepers and some of the other stuff with it, and it becomes a pretty good football play. Now let me take a minute and show you the tape here. And hopefully you got something out of that. Now I can go over all the techniques on the side, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what it looks like on paper when you draw it up. And it looks like, because you can get some hellacious double teams in here too. John, help me out here. This looks like you launched the friggin' shuttle over here. The other remote, that helps. You got that there? Where's the pointer? Who had the pointer? Andy has the pointer. You have the pointer? Okay, here we go. Thank you, Andy. Right, we're running it from the eye. Tailback's going to get the ball. Starts front side, comes back with the football. Okay, we're going to work. He's going to pull. Okay, they're going to double the hair. He's going to stretch the tree technique like Tony was talking about, stretching the tree technique on the scissors. This guy runs himself out of the play. Now, he's either going to block him or go up to block that linebacker, depending if this guy's threatening the B-gap backside or not. Okay, and then we're going to run the football play. Because we've been running duo all day in here. Here comes the tackle. There's a hole. Okay, this tackle. There's a lot of different techniques. We set on him, take him up the field, take him out. Okay, and there's a hole backside there because they flow over the top here. And we'll just let this go a little bit. Here's versus the 49ers. Okay, remember, we've been running the off tackle play, that duo play that I showed you. So they're overplaying that play, so now we're going to run this one to the other side. You can watch the middle linebacker on here. He runs himself. Actually, this guy runs himself away. He must have been coached up to take away duo. Watch. He's going to take away the front side duo play the win linebacker, and now when a tackle comes through, he has to adjust and end up actually end up blocking the mic. That's from an eye set. Okay. Now here's Billy over, and when he was the head coach at Oakland, they exchanged the Sam in the end. They got the safety down over there. They said, you're not going to run this play in here. We're not going to let you do that. He said, that's fine, Billy. You can end up doing that. 
We motion a fullback back. Okay, he fills in here, just like we're going to run the play, but we give it back to the tailback. Great wheel Kai, if you're running a lot of that off tackle stuff, okay, here the exchange, safety's down. Now what now what was happening? They made a call right here. He's gonna try, he's trying to pick. Oop. He's gonna they made a call right here. Remember the hard call? They made a call right here because he's on the end of the line of scrimmage. So this tackle's saying hot, hot, hot. He's expecting this guy to come inside, but they ran a stunt. So he just adjusted on the end, but watch the pull and tackle block that guy. He takes him down and in, okay? He takes him out. He adjusts, they double team to the mic. And there's a hole back here. It's not a hard play, it's a very simple play, but it's very effective in breaking the keys to the defense. Hey, here you go. You want to run it three by one formation versus the Lions, three by one, nickel defense, offset the back. Everything in this, if you scouted us, is we're going to throw the ball in this formation. Okay, now all of a sudden, and I come up with a new term right here. Watch Aaron, when you block somebody and you can no longer see the guy, the defender, that's an eclipse block. Okay, so when you block a guy like that and you can no longer see the defender, that's an eclipse block. So you need big enough guys to end up having to do that, okay? Again, all the rules stay the same. The rules don't change, okay? He's going to work here. Actually, he's going to work back to this one. The pulling guard has the twin linebacker. Okay, let's get another front here. <clears throat> okay, now we change a little bit with the tailback because we had the toss in against these guys for whatever reason. So we're going to fake the toss with the tailback. Okay, and we're still going to pull the tackle, but we're going to give the ball to the fullback. Okay, now the fullback lines up over here, he motions back over here, because we had that formation, and he's going to motion over here, and we're going to run the off tackle play here, or a sweep play, and toss the ball to that guy, which they've already seen during the course of the game. Now, this is a play. This is the one I was telling you. Sometimes you can double team these guys to him and pull the tackle, hard call to block this guy. Now, he's a free agent, free agent. Okay, now, Cruz is an all pro player. Valerio is a very good player. And Aaron is a free agent. So there's three free agents on this line that you see in working here. Like Juan was saying, coach him. Just coach him. You can get him to do what you want him to do. Yeah, this is what? This is an attitude right here by this guy right here. Just an attitude. He knocks him down, we'll go get him. Now, I think on the front side you may see this is a brace technique. Watch the brace technique by the right guard. He braces for the tight end to take this guy. So don't say you can't do that. He braces this guy for the tight end to take that guy, hoping this linebacker is going to go with the fake. He holds just enough so that the back can outrun him. Effective little play. Okay, here we are. Okay, tight wing, motions back to a strong set, give the ball to the fullback, tailback makes a fake. Okay, now you get some away. Watch the double team by the center and the left guard. Okay, here's the tackle point. Linebacker is going to fill in here. He thinks he's going to fill. They don't make a call. But see this linebacker fill in, watch with the tackle. And there's a hole. But there's a double team. Double team. I could tell you, I could spend the whole day talking about double teaming guys off the ball. There's one here. So it's still a powerful play. It's not a finesse play. You're still going to be able to knock people back. Okay? Watch the center and the left guard over here. Double team. Only run it one way. You double team that guy off the ball. You knock his ass off the ball. Double team here, on the three, pull the tackle, tight end block down, make the fake with the back, give it to the fullback coming back. Double team, hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder. One guy's a lift guy, one guy's a drive guy. That's how I explain it. Here's Aaron Gibson. He can't pull, he's too big, he's too heavy, he has trouble pulling. Bullshit. Here we go. 
Going to give it to the fullback again? I'll just let some of these run. Well, here's one where the tackle goes up, makes a hot call. Whatever, I don't know how he did this. He just went up and blocked that guy. Have no really, he wrong shoulders the tackle. Tackle seals him in. Ball goes outside. Watch the double team here. Now we're in a bunch set. We're going to give it to this guy right here coming back. Fake the sweep. Give it to him coming back. Pull the tackle. Hit it up inside. You get some hellacious double teams, guys. Bunch set, okay? Watch the double team again over here. I think they cut this guy the next day. Watch, him. he's going to go. They're trying to see him hesitate. He's out of the play. They're going to stop the offside tackle play. We're running the ball over here. Another bunch look. Now this guy's going to try to run through. Watch what the tackle does. Here's the Broncos. I'm going to get the safety involved in the front. Okay, again, we're running out a bunch. So there's all different things you can do with the play. It's kind of a neat little play to run. It breaks the keys of the defense. You give it to the tailback, the fullback. You can give it to a receiver if you've got one that can run. Okay, and I'll show you one right here. Again, double team. Just because it's salacious double teams. Let me fast forward through here to get to the one I'm looking for here. All right, this one right here. Okay, it's one of the biggest holes I've ever seen in pro football. Okay, All right, bunch. Okay, we call it what? Quarterback twin. We're going to let the quarterback keep the play and run twin back in here with the quarterback keeping the ball because we've been running the flip crack off tackle here. So we're going to give the illusion that we're going to run the ball over here. Okay, and then let the quarterback keep the ball coming back, pulling the tackle again. And that's really quite a good hole that probably Tony and I could both run through at the same time. Okay, gentlemen. Now, we're going to take a little break here. I hope that was...